1877, on September 24th, Saigo Takamori, uh, in the last battle, was hit twice with two bullets, once in the hip, once through the thigh. Uh, he knew at that point he could fight no more, he could hardly stand. He was wounded so badly he would bleed to death in a matter of hours, but he knew that he wanted to die like a samurai, the way he had lived. He um, asked uh, his friend who was with him where, which direction the imperial uh, palace was. He turned in the, toward the imperial palace and knelt in prayer. It's a sign of obedience and loyalty to the emperor, which some believe that he supported all along. It was the, uh, the councils and the modern government that, that really caused him most of his problems. Uh, after that, he, um, his friend helped him commit seppuku by cutting off his head. At the grave of Saigo Takamori, this is his final resting place. You notice there's still fresh flowers out here after so long a time. Uh, the people who take care of the place um, keep those fresh. They are live flowers, they're not plastic. This is a bowl where people burn incense to offer up their prayers. And you can drop your coins in here. As you're getting ready to pray, you make your prayers, bow, toss in the coin and as an offering uh, to the kami, and then you, you pray and show your respects to, uh, to the last samurai, Saigo Takamori, the man that ended it all. Uh, you'll see there's little incense that have been burned here and in the other post and pillars, a uh, place for people water to wash their hands and, and wash out their mouth.